Greetings everyone, it's Little Frank Dance 98 back out again with the next reaction. Today we're reacting to Reincarnated as a Sword. This is this, oh, this is a manga I've been a long time fan of. I have loved how a guy gets killed, but instead of reincarnating as like say a hero or villain or even a slime, this one apparently takes the place of him t reincarnating as a living sword who has its own stats and evolution abilities. I can even gain skills from monsters it kills. So. His wielder apparently is a black cat girl named um, Fran, I believe, if I remember the manga right. And so he is named Master. Not the most creative name, but hey, give her a break, she's like 9 or 10, <laughs> something like that. She's, uh, I think she's a lot of little leeway on the name, just saying. Anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes, because I've been waiting for years since the manga came out. For an anime adaptation, I'm looking forward to seeing how they do this here. Now, keep in mind, I think this is in Japanese, so I won't have a clue what they're saying, except for like maybe tidbits here and there, but I am looking forward to just seeing how what they do, like if they do it a lot like the manga. So, here we go. Looks beautiful so far. Reminds me of uh, Rise of the Shield, her animation. <clears throat> mm -hmm, the slave traders, yep. There he is. Oh wow, yep, looks old. definitely like the manga so far. Yep, he gets stuck there. Yeah, so what you don't realize is that he has mana to help him with his skills and abilities. What he did there was telekinesis from the book. So, the reason why he's there and then it disappeared on him is because he gets stuck there. The ground there absorbs mana, which means he can't use a skill while he's being drained of mana. Thanks to the ground, so... He's stuck there until someone pulls him out. Which... Becomes Fran. Because she finds him. <laughs> I'm loving the monster design so far, it's pretty good. <laughs> that humanoid she was fighting that had the giant axe while she had this on? Uh, it's actually one of the guild examiners called Donna Drand, I think. He's an Oni, anyway. He's an Oni humanoid. He uses his skills and abilities to see if people are willing to become an adventurer with the right guts and glory and such. So, according to the manga, they go from G all the way to S for ranks. And believe it or not, that twin-headed bear, even though it looks so dangerous, still only an F or E rank monster, believe it or not. It's only like second or third rank out of all the dangers. Talk about a bit underwhelming, but until you consider that a lot of people don't make it that far. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> so it seems like October of this year is when it starts coming out. Oh, that's the manga. Okay, so that's the next book they're bringing out. Okay. Another elf? Hmm. Hmm, with samurai armor this time. Interesting. Alright, that was good. This is looking very promising so far. I'm looking forward to seeing how they pull this off for the main series. Because right now we are at the part where friends helping out a kingdom with a civil war going on. So let's see how far they make the anime go. They might go to after she defeats her first dungeon or possibly even after she completes the first town that she goes to. Either one would be a good stopping point for her, honestly, because there is a lot to cover in the first season. From her finding him, to him and her leveling up, to them evolving her, all these little, little try not trying to evolve her, but her class anyway. Anyway, like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing how the series goes because I am a huge fan of this because it's it's a lot like solo leveling in a way, because it's literally just them trying to level up, gain skills and stats, so Fran can evolve to a higher racial tier. Basically evolving from a basic black cat to say like a shadow panther race or something like that. 
something along those lines. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in the next reaction, and hopefully you guys have any recommendations or requests for me to review, like any movie trailers even, or maybe some new, um, maybe even some new animes or something like that, or even some fan, some fan videos, if you would, <laughs> like Jaden or uh, Straight Dog Studios. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I know I did. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. For now, I'll see you around. Bye!